Okay, this is here is a long text completion. So let's start reading it. The question of blank in photography has lately become non-trivial. What? What, is, what goes in the first blank? Do we have any idea? And the answer, of course, is no. That's why it's really important on these long ones to read the entire thing. So let's go on and keep reading, see if we can get anything else. Prices for vintage prints, those made by a photographer soon after he or she made negative, so drastically blanked. And here's the important part. They drastically what? Well, now one of them might fetch 100 times as much as before. So what happened in terms of these prints? Well, they drastically increased. So we come up with our own word here, which is increased. Why? Because, well, let's say uh, 100 or 10 years ago, 1990 is when they increased. But let's say 1970, they only cost a dollar. Now they've increased so much, they cost $100. That's the idea. So that's our word, increase. We look here at the second blank. Which word we means increased? Well, ballooned. You're not sure how balloons use in this context, keep it there. Weaken means to become less, kind of the opposite of what we're going for here. Very just means to change, it's not direct. We need something that means to increase, and that word answer is balloon. So that's great, we found the second blank. Let's read on for the third blank. So I'm gonna start from where it says, 1990 is that one of these photographs might fetch 100 times as much as a non-vintage print of the same image. So vintage are worth a lot more than non-vintage prints, makes sense. So Perhaps only a matter of time before someone took advantage of the blank to peddle newly created vintage prints. Notice the word vintage is now in quotation marks in the sentence. What does that mean? Well, they're not really vintage, but people are trying to peddle them or sell them in a way to make others think, oh, these are real vintage. So what are they doing? They're lying. So what's going on? Well, this is a question now of forgery. And just like that, we can go back to the first blank. And the answer is A for the first blank. Then finally, for the third blank, we go back to there and go, well, what's going on? This idea between triv or between vintage and non-vintage. Well, there's something going on, and that is a discrepancy. That is, how do we know if something is vintage, and how do we know it's not vintage? Well, the discrepancy, of course, being in price, because these people, these forgers, knew they could make so much more money if they called non-vintage prints vintage, and so they took advantage of the discrepancy in prices between vintage and non-vintage, and there is our final answer, which is G.